Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm actually really excited about. Today I'm going to be talking about my 10 must-have beauty favorites. These are all products that I have found that I use daily. Um, things that I feel like nowadays I couldn't live without and I just really have been loving. So I wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first one, um, these it's actually two things but I kind of paired them together so it's fine. I'm sure you guys already know what I'm going to say because I literally talk about these in every video I feel like. Um, um, but it's just these two Laneige products. So the first one is this water sleeping mask. It's the lavender scent. I know they have a regular scent, but I prefer the lavender one because I love lavender. But yeah, it's just a very like water based type of, it, they say it's a leave on sleeping mask. So you're supposed to put it on at nighttime and you leave it on and it's kind of like a sleep mask while you're sleeping obviously um, but I kind of use it as a moisturizer sometimes I'll even use it in the morning before I put on my makeup and it just is so hydrating and I feel like I've been at the beach for a while and I've been using this and my face hasn't peeled or anything because I feel like it's keeping it very moisturized so I really highly recommend this I always get mine off of Amazon because it's cheaper than Sephora but they have them at both so if you haven't tried this I definitely recommend trying it out and then second Laneige product is the lip sleeping mask so this is in the berry scent I actually just just ordered they just came out with a ton of new ones I know they have the squeeze tube one but I prefer like the pot I think like the consistency of it is a little bit um, thicker and like glossier I feel like I have it on right now I don't know if you can tell but I just love it I like the berry scent but I just ordered the vanilla and then they have like a green apple and I got them both off Amazon so I'm just waiting on them to come um, I'm almost out of this pot which is sad this is my first one but yeah I really am obsessed with this stuff I keep it like in my purse and my wallet and things like that I like carry it around and put it on throughout the day so I really don't just use it as like a, a sleeping type of product I use it all throughout the day and this is like a 10 out of 10 if you don't have this by now I really recommend it next up I will go and talk about um I guess I'll just do random so I'm just gonna grab stuff this is a lotion I'm sure everyone knows about this by now everyone talks about it on YouTube basically but it's the Sol de Janeiro um, bum bum cream or boom boom cream I don't know how you say it people all say it different I'm almost out which is sad because it's expensive but I definitely think that it's worth it so they advertise it as like tightening up your body so like if you had like I don't know cellulite um, behind your legs or like your arms or something and you put it on they say it's supposed to tighten up your body I don't really think that that necessarily is it like I I mean I put it on there but I don't really like feel it tightening up my body but just the smell and the consistency of this is a 10 out of 10 for me I love the smell like I I like the smell year-round which is nice because a lot of beauty products I'm like oh I would only use that in the summer oh I would only use that in the winter whereas this it's like a coconut but then it's also like a vanilla which is why I feel like it makes it a year-round type of situation it is pricey like I said like I think this one was 45 but it has like I got this for Christmas and I'm just about to run out I don't use it every day um, I kind of think of it as like a treat lotion um, I have other lotions that I have one other lotion here that I'll show you guys which is a little more affordable but this one I just really really love and I know they have a mini one which is like 20 something so if you don't want to go ahead and like fully splurge on um, the $45 one and you want to see if you like it first you could always try the mini so highly recommend that product next up I'm gonna do a makeup favorite which is weird because I'm so uneducated in makeup but this is something that I've been using probably since middle school and I still use it to this day this is probably like my fifth one that I've rebought and it lasts forever which is why I really like it um, and it is the Hoola bronzer by benefit matte powder bronze for face so it's a matte bronzer there's no like shimmer or anything in it which is why I like it I just hit pan on this one so this is like my favorite bronzer I naturally always have a tan because I mean I just got home from the beach but like I have a barely a little bit on but I love to put like the three on my face and then I love to do a little bit on my nose it's very natural I'm not someone who loves like the hard contour line and things like that um, and this one I find just gives me a really natural like I feel like it's like a effortless glow like it looks like I'm not really trying but I have like bronzer on if you are not like a huge makeup person like me and are looking for a good bronzer I would recommend this one I have been loving it for years and I still love it so that's that so this is like kind of a two-in-one again so I recently just got these actually and I'm already obsessed um, so this is the Twilight body spray well I guess I should say the reason I'm obsessed is because it smells like the most perfect scent of lavender 
that I've ever smelled. This is the best thing I've ever smelled. I know a lot of people who have this and they actually will take the lid off and drop it into their oil diffuser and use it as like a lavender oil diffuser, which is nice because it's very affordable. I think it was like $14 maybe and it's huge, like it lasts forever. Um, I spray this on my laundry when it's done cleaning. I spray this on my pillows before I get into bed. I spray this as room spray. I literally use this for everything. It says, spritz yourself with comforting sweet lavender and feel tension melt away. So it's really just a very relaxing scent and I just love like the bottle and stuff is really nice too for travel because there's this thing that locks it so it can't like spray anywhere and then once you spray it it's just it's just so nice wow i just really love it it kind of has like a vanilla scent to it too so if you're in if you love vanilla and lavender like i do this is for you going with that i have um this lotion which is the consistency of this lotion which is super nice because this one wasn't as expensive so this is the sleepy body lotion they have like a big tub of it and then i just got the small one because i wanted to try it out and i have been loving it so it's super thick um as you can see and it gives me like the sleepy feeling obviously because it's a sleepy lotion yeah i just really love this it does have like an expiration because it's a lush product so everything's like basically fresh in it um, but if you haven't smelt like the sleepy line, I know they have like bath bombs and things like that too in this scent. Go check it out from Lush because it smells so good. So my next favorite is these slip silk, um, scrunchies. So I always have one on my wrist. So this is like the animal print one. I got these from Sephora. They came in a pack of three and I haven't used a regular hair bow since I bought these. I find that they're so gentle on my hair. They do not pull my hair out, which is super nice because when I was little, I used to have super thick hair and now I feel like the the older I get because I've dyed it and things like that it's getting thinner and thinner which I hate so I always hated like putting my hair in a bun and like one of those tight like hair ties from Target or something if you guys know what I'm talking about um and then when I would take it out like 10 pieces of hair would be like all attached and wrapped around it and like I get that's only 10 pieces of hair but like I need those 10 pieces of hair so these I find when I take it out like it's just it just comes out so easily it doesn't really crease my hair which is nice because I have very like creasy hair when I put it back it um creases easily which is annoying but these don't do that they are kind of pricey it was like 20 bucks for three hair ties but if you can keep track of them and like keep up with them I mean this is like all I use so if you haven't tried them highly recommend okay so i have right now my hair is curled because i use like heat on it but i have like naturally frizzy hair so when i get out of the shower and i let it air dry it's curly but it's like kind of frizzy wavy too so then sometimes if i just blow dry it, it's enough to like make it look manageable to go out in public but i need to spray something on it so i found this product by living proof and it's the instant defrizzer so this is a great product for people who don't like if you have naturally straight hair you probably don't need this product but if you have curly like frizzy hair like me um this is great so after you style your hair and you want it to last all day what i do is just like kind of take it through my hair like this um and it just kind of coats it also the smell any living proof like product smell is really great but i just go like this throughout my hair so it stays non-frizzy on the bottle it says softness and shine anytime get smooth between shampoo so you just spray it and then you just comb your hair through like this and it like my hair will now stay like this probably until nighttime like it won't get frizzy and things like that so highly recommend this if you have like naturally frizzy hair this is like life-changing for me okay so back in my like high school days i was obsessed with lauren elizabeth's youtube channel she like used to post way more and now she posts less but i, I mean i still watch her because i think she's funny and like a girl boss basically but she always recommended this product and one day i just got it like i had like probably a hundred dollars in my bank account and this was 50 and i spent half of it on this so um i really listened to her <laughs> um but it is the old henriksen truth serum it's collagen boosted with vitamin c complex so this stuff first off it smells great it smells like oranges um and i put this on i normally do it my morning routine so i actually have the nighttime version of this so i'll put that one at on at night it's the blue bottle but i don't love it as much as i love this one so i'll put this on every morning if i take a shower in the morning i'll put it on after your skin needs oil people who think like i'm gonna dry my skin like you, your skin needs oil, your skin needs moisture. If you're not giving it that, then it's gonna reflect bad and start breaking out and things like that. This is really great. You just, it's just like a twist bot, like top and then I'll actually pump it out for you guys. It just looks like that. It's very like oily. I'm just gonna actually rub it on my hands. It's okay. And the smell is just very citrusy and um, it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily. Like it sinks into the skin nicely and it doesn't leave my skin looking oily, which is like 
the best. I know a lot of people who naturally do have oily skin are afraid to put oils on, but um, I've heard from like many, many of makeup artists and like people who are educated in that type of stuff, like you need to still put oil on your skin. So if you're in the need for a good serum, this is one that I really highly recommend. I want to try the Sunday Riley one as well, but I just am waiting to run out of this one. This is like my second or third bottle of this since high school and I freaking love it. So um, it's, a, it's like never, never failed me. So next up I have this mascara. This is weird. I have two makeup favorites in a video and I never talk about makeup. It is a mascara. It's a drugstore mascara. I've been using this for years. So this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. I, um, This isn't the waterproof one. I hate waterproof mascara because I feel like it never comes off. But this is the best. So I don't really have long lashes. This mascara I feel like does the best. It really separates them all. Um, and I just feel like it just gives me the results that I've liked the best. If you're in the need of like a good drugstore mascara and you haven't tried this out, I feel like a lot of people use this, but if you haven't tried it out, highly recommend. I think it's like eight or nine bucks and I really like the comb on it. It's just really thin, so it really like separates the lashes really well. So really like this. I wouldn't say it gives you like the very clumpy look. I mean, no one wants the clumpy look, but like the really full look, but it does give like the length and like the dainty lashes, which is what I like. So I get a different perfume for Christmas every year. Me and my sisters, we always get like a different one every year and this year I got this one and it's been my favorite one that I've ever had um so it is the Coco Mademoiselle I don't know if that's how you say it Chanel perfume it looks like this so I know that they have just like a regular Coco one but this is like the intensified one like the version up from that I got it for Christmas it is pricey which is why like I've had this since December and I've only used that much. I use it on like, I guess like special occasions and like when I'm doing stuff, like if I'm just going to run errands or something by myself, I'll use like the vanilla one by Anthropology or just like a body mist or something. I love when I'm wearing perfume and people are like, oh, you smell so great. Like it just makes me feel like good about myself. Like, oh, I smell good. Um, so this one is really nice. I get a lot of compliments on it and um, it is pricey, but if you're in the need of a good perfume, definitely check this one out. I think they have a roller ball of it too. So you could always do that option first and then see if you like it. Cause I know perfume like tends to smell different on everybody's body. So like see how it smells on your body and then you could go from there, I guess. Next up, I have these Sephora glow peel pads. So I tried the Dr. Dennis glow pads and it actually broke out my face. So then I tried this Sephora peel pad and these ones were like seven bucks. I got the small one because I wanted to see if it was gonna break out my face or not. My, my face has been doing fine. I love how this feels. It feels like a toner. So like at nighttime when I'm done, I'll remove all my makeup, I'll do my face wash and then I'll do this. And it just, my skin feels so tight and like, clean i don't know i just really like these and they're very inexpensive so if you're ever at sephora and want to pick these up highly recommend um after i do feel like my face looks a little more glowy and like i said like tighter and very very squeaky clean and then my last favorite is so i actually got these i think i showed them in like a vlog like a while back before my birthday my mom bought me these for my birthday and i've already gone through them once so i have repurchased they are these Briogeo um, Be Gentle Be Kind Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this is my second one of it and I can tell you that I really love it. I love this scent and I feel like it's made my hair just look, I don't know, like before I feel like my hair felt like it still had like junk in it. I don't know how to describe it. My hair doesn't literally have junk in it, but you know what I mean. And now it just feels very fresh and light. So this is the, um, it's a matcha apple replenishing superfood shampoo. So very clean ingredients. This is the shampoo and then the conditioner is kale and apple replenishing superfood conditioner. So it just looks like this. And yeah, I just really like it. The smell is like amazing. So that helps, it smells very fresh. Um, probably said that word like a million times but I don't really know how else to describe shampoo and conditioner besides like I really like it a little goes a long way I mean I've had this for a while and I've only used this much of it so yeah I really love those uh, that is everything so those were like my 10 must-have type of products that I use almost every day I'll have everything linked below for you guys so you can just easily um, click on it if you wanted to go ahead and get it but yeah I think that is all I have for this video make sure that you are subscribed down below I think that's it uh, I hope you guys are all loving the vlog challenge I um, have really enjoyed doing it and if you are new to the channel hey thanks so much for subscribing um, yeah, but thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.